On the 14th of March 1946, a horrific Nazi war criminal, who had been responsible for the slaughter of many innocent people, was led to a gallows inside of Bruchal Prison's courtyard. The gallows had been made in this area, and it was large, and he was accompanied by a number of American military policemen, before he was handed over to the executioner, and the noose was then secured around his neck. During the Second World War and before, inside of the Third Reich, there was a horrific organised effort to slaughter hundreds of thousands of people that Hitler believed were a burden to his German society. This programme saw doctors and nurses and other staff become horrific mass murderers rather than those who were there to care for the sick. But Karl Willig was one of these male nurses inside of the extermination centre that was responsible for the horrific slaughter of thousands. Join us today to look at the execution of the male nurse of Hadamar and as always to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. Little is known about the early life of Karl Willig and it's assumed that he had a relatively normal life, but joined the Nazi party like millions of other Germans would as Hitler and his political party rose to power. No one would have believed the truly horrific nature of his regime and how it would turn normal everyday people into barbaric criminals, killers and executioners. Karl Willig must have also had some form of medical qualification or training and he would become involved in the Action T4 programme. Action T4 was a Nazi aim to exterminate and kill all of those people that they deemed to be either mentally ill or have physical disabilities and illnesses. The Nazis believed this would cleanse the Aryan race of people who they considered were genetically defective and a financial burden to the Reich and this began in 1939 around two years before the final solution began during the Second World War. The programme was one of a number of radical ones brought in to ensure that Hitler's empire was racially pure, and it was a forced killing and slaughter of hundreds of thousands. The people who became the victims did not have a say in this, and the programme was led by Philip Buller and Karl Brandt, Hitler's own doctor. Doctors and nurses were ordered to report all children and others who had physical disabilities or mental disabilities and illnesses, and the authorities then began to convince parents and carers to send their loved ones to a number of specialised clinics across Germany and Austria, but these were not caring places, and they were actually killing centres, where doctors and nurses, along with other staff, murdered these people. The T4 programme was expanded, and it's estimated that around 300,000 people were forcibly killed in this manner. Karl Willig was one of those male nurses that worked at Hadamar, a killing centre set up near to the town of Limburg. Hadamar from the very start was a killing facility for the programme, and also mass sterilisation was performed there, and it's believed that more than 15,000 German citizens were sent to Hadamar and the hospital here, and they were slaughtered. The process of killing at Hadamar was the same as his other sites. Patients and victims would be brought to the killing centre, they were then driven into the gas chambers and murdered with carbon dioxide or by other means. They would be killed within minutes and then following this the hospital crematoria would cremate the bodies and thick smoke regularly billowed over the local towns. The staff disgustingly even celebrated the cremation of their 10,000th victim like a birthday. The local population knew of the work that was happening inside of Hadamar as they saw thousands of people being sent to the hospital by bus and train, then vanishing into thin air, with the crematoria smoke then being the indication of what was happening. Karl Willig was a male nurse who was involved in the killing process, and he was involved in the movement of patients and victims into the gas chambers, and his actions led to the deaths of thousands. But after the end of the Second World War, he was arrested, and was brought to trial alongside other workers of the site at the Hadamar trial. It was said of Karl Willig's crimes that he took an active part in administering fatal injections and that he gave injections to two or three hundred Poles and Russians, but it could have been more. It was said that Willig had been employed since 1941 and he participated in helping with the executions using injections and also sending people to the gas chamber. Willig admitted his crimes in helping to kill Polish and Russian people and he was a key part of the killing and execution process. The trial was overseen by American authorities, who brought Karl Willig to trial alongside other nurses and staff of Hadamar. The witnesses told of the process, and it shocked the courtroom, 
and because of legal issues within the court, the officials in charge had to charge Willig and the others with just the murders of around 500 sick and suffering Polish and Russian workers, rather than the crimes against humanity in the mass slaughter of thousands. After all the evidence was heard, Karl Willig was one of three men who were sentenced to death, and he was then sent to Bruchal prison, where he would be held for a number of months before his execution. Bruchal prison during Hitler's time in power was a place where many dissidents and resistors to the Nazi regime would be executed, but after the Second World War it was a prison which was used by the Americans to punish many war criminals who were condemned following their trial. A gallow had been built inside of the courtyard to perform these executions, and it was a large execution structure complete with a trap door, in which it had a covered part underneath for the condemned after they crashed through the trap door. Karl Willig was left inside of his prison cell for some time, and he was held alongside other male nurses, such as Heinrich Ruff and also Afons Klein, who were awaiting their executions on death row. Each day he woke up wondering if today would be his final day, but on the 14th of March 1946, he was told by the American military policemen and guards that it was his time to be executed, and that the executioner was awaiting him on the gallows. He was led out of his prison cell, and was accompanied by around 10 American guards and a priest, who was there to hear his final words and offer spiritual guidance before his death. Willig walked out into the courtyard and around the road towards the gallows, which was large, and then at the bottom of the execution structure, his identity was confirmed. He was wearing prisoner clothes, and his legs were secured before he got to the foot of the gallows. Military policemen helped him up the stairs of the gallows, and he then went on to the execution structure and was attended on by a priest, who allegedly heard his final words, and then stepped back, and Karl Willig was handed over to the executioner. Stood on a large platform, the executioner approached him and secured his arms behind his back to prevent him moving when he fell through the execution structure, and he then placed a black cap over the head of the condemned. Willig then had the noose secured around his neck, whilst a number of other military policemen held him in place, and with the noose around his neck, the executioner then released a trap door, and Willig plunged straight through and was instantly executed. Following his death, his remains were then pronounced dead minutes later, and he was then thrown inside of a coffin, which had been gathered, and then was taken away. He was one of a number of other members of staff of Hadamar that were executed that day, and they were hanged one by one, inside of the courtyard of Bruchal Prison. But Karl Willig was a man who was responsible for the slaughter of many, and he was a man who actively injected patients with lethal substances, which resulted in their deaths. He was just one man who became a brutal murderer, during Hitler's regime, in which ordinary people became mass murderers, who would carry out the horrific nature of Hitler's policies. He was a man who for his actions went to the gallows, inside an American occupied prison. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.